Hi, ma. Good morning, everyone. Today, our topic on the remaining part of ray optics. In this today's topic is lenses. What is meant by lens? In yesterday's class, we will discuss reflection, refraction, transmission, loss of reflection, loss of refraction. Everything we will discuss and prism, whatever prism. On today's class, we will discuss about the lenses. What is meant by a lens? What are the different types of lens? What are the microscopes we are using in labs? And what are different types of abrasions? These all are today we will discuss in our class. And first one, lenses. What is meant by a lens? A lens is a uniform transparent medium bounded between two spherical medium, two spherical parts or one spherical, one plane part is nothing but a lens. A lens is a... A lens is a form of transparent medium bounded between the two spherical surfaces or one spherical surface and one plane surface is nothing but a lens. We have two different types of lenses. One is the convex lens and other one is the concave lenses. First one the convex lens means a lens which is thinner at the edges and thicker at the middle is called the convex lens a lens which is thinner at the edges and thicker at the middle are called the convex lenses and concave lenses means a lens which is thicker at the edges and thinner at the middle are called the concave lenses these two are we are using in our practicals in our lab so what is meant by convex lens and what is meant by concave lens and what are the lenses lens is a Transparenting medium which is having two spherical surfaces or one spherical and one plane surfaces. We have two different types of lenses. One is a convex lens and other one is a concave lens. Convex lens means a lens which is at thicker at the thinner at the edges and thicker at the medium. Middle is called a convex lens and the concave lens means a lens which is thicker at the edges and thinner is at the middle is called a concave lens. So next one is a lens formula. We are talking about the lens then we can find the lens formula and lens makers formula. Everybody knows the lens formula. Lens formula 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. f is nothing but a focal length of the lens. v is the distance from the image. u is the distance from the object. u is the distance of object. Distance of object means distance of the object from lens. That means this is the lens, here we are placing an object, here we are getting an image. So this distance is V, this distance is U, something. So the distance between lens to the object is U, the distance between lens to the image is V and F is the focal length of the formula. Then the lens formula will be equal to 1 by F equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U. And the next one is the lens makers formula. Lens makers formula is nothing but a 1 by f equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. That means mu is a refractive index of the material of the lens we are using in our lab. Mu is a refractive index of the material of the lens and r1, r2 are the radius of radius called radii of curvature. Radius is the singular term. Radii is the plural term. We have two radiuses. R1, R2. That's why we are saying radii of curvature of the lens. R1 and R2 are the radii of curvature of the lens. And what is meant by lens formula? The lens formula will be equal to 1 by F equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U. Here F is the focal length of the lens and V is the image of the image of the object. Image of the object from the lens. Distance of our image. V is the distance of image of the object and u is the distance of the object from the lens and the next one is the lens makers formula that formula is nothing but 1 by f equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 here mu is the refractive index of the material and r1 and r2 are the radii of curvature of their lenses next simple microscope the simple microscope and the compound microscope all are used in our practical purpose in our labs. So in this we are first we are discussing about the simple microscope. What is meant by simple microscope? 
it is used to observing magnified images of objects it consists of converging lens of small focal lens that means simple microscope contains converging lens that means that is a convex lens the simple microscope having a convex lens and it is used to observing the magnified images of objects it consists of a converging lens of and very small focal lens that is nothing but a converging lens means that is a convex lens of very small focal lens and here we have two conditions magnifying power here we can find the two conditions first one is a very small distance we can find the very clear image very nearer to the lens and other one is the very maximum at infinity distance we are calculated at infinity distance we will get the image so the magnifying power of at minimum distance the formula is m equal to 1 plus d by f that formula will be at we are using at minimum distance and at infinity distance we are using the magnifying power m will be equal to d by f that is at infinity distance f is the focal length and once again we are using simple microscope in the our laboratory so in this we are using the you can find the magnifying observing magnitude of mag, magnified images of object it is used to observing magnified images of the object it it consists of converging lens and that means convex lens of very small focal length the magnet magnifying power of simple microscope will be equal to at, at minimum distance the formula m equal to 1 plus d by f that is at minimum distance and m equal d by f that is at maximum or infinite distance and next we will discuss compound microscope so next our topic is compound microscope what is meant by compound microscope compound microscope is a combination of two convex lenses the compound microscope is a combination of two convex lenses called it having two parts objective piece and eyepiece objective lens and eyepiece separated by a distance that is the complex micro compound microscope but in case of simple microscope we have just a converging lens of small focal length but in case of compound microscope we have it is a combination of two convex lenses of convex lenses called objective lens and eyepiece those are separated by some certain distance that is nothing but a compound microscope in this the minimum distance the image formation at minimum distance is m equal to v naught by u naught into 1 plus d by f e that means the focal length of the eyepiece suffix e indicates eyepiece this will be at a minimum distance and the v naught is nothing but a v naught is the distance of the image formed by objective lens v naught is the distance of image formed by the objective lens and u naught is the distance of the object from the objective lens this is the distance of the object this is the distance of the image from the lenses and at infinity distance the magnifying power m will be equal to v naught by u naught into d by f e v naught is the distance of the image from the objective lens u naught is the distance of the object from the objective lens so this is the smallest distance and infinity distance next is the dispersive power dispersive power of the material of the prism is the ratio of the angular dispersion of ratio of the angular dispersion of two extreme colors angular dispersion of the two extreme colors and their mean deviation deviation mean deviation means a minus b by 2 and dispersion means a minus b of two colors we are taking two colors red and violet with z r v is the r with z r so here the dispersion power omega can be taken as dispersion of two colors delta v minus delta r is the dispersion of two colors and their mean deviation ratio of the dispersion of the two colors to the mean deviation that means delta v minus delta r by 2 this is the mean deviation this is nothing but a dispersive power next our topic is the aberrations aberration of lenses aberration of lenses means the image formed by the lens suffer suffering some from following two main drawbacks that means the formation of image can be experienced two effects that is nothing but a aberration some problems some drawbacks that is the aberration the lens um, 
the lens experience some problem on the formation of the image is nothing but a aberration we have two types of aberrations spherical aberration and the chromatic aberration in case of spherical spherical aberration the in case of spherical aberration aberration of the lenses due to which all the rays passes through the lens are not focused on a single point and the image of a point object placed on the axis is blurred is called the spherical aberration that means the focusing point is not will be concentrated at the single point and we will not get a point image in a clear neat it will be we will observe that is a blurred image this defect is nothing but a spherical aberration and the second one is a chromatic aberration image of which object formed by the lens is usually colored and blurred this defect of image produced by the lens is called the chromatic aberration this is our ray optics chapter and once i will repeat it the first one is the compound microscope compound microscope is having two convex lenses and this one is a objective lens and second one is a eye piece eye piece separated by some certain distance this will be also used in lab purpose and the magnifying power will be equal to at minimum distance m equal to v not by u not into 1 plus d by f e here f e is nothing but a focal length of the eye piece and v not is the distance of the image from the objective lens and u not is the distance of the object from the objective lens at infinite distance the magnifying power of the compound microscope is m equal to v not by u not into d by f e this is at infinite distance and the second one is the dispersive power the dispersive power means is the ratio of the dispersion of the two colors to the mean deviation of these two colors here we are taking violet and red so the dispersion power double omega will be equal to delta v minus delta r that is the deviation of the, the two colors to the ratio of deviation of the two colors to the mean deviation mean deviation here we are taking violet and red so delta v minus delta r by delta v minus delta r by 2 this is our dispersive power it will be used in some problems also so next our topic is aberrations what are the aberrations means the lens experience some problems when we forming an image that effect that defect the drawback is nothing but a aberration we have two types of aberrations uh, spherical aberration and the chromatic aberration in case of spherical aberration we are observing we are the focus of light rays are not concentrated on a single point we will not a point object in a clear manner it will be blurred this effect is nothing but a spherical aberration and chromatic aberration means the image formed is a colored and blurred the the image formed by the lens is a colored and blurred image of the lens this defect of the lens is nothing but a chromatic aberration in tomorrow's class we will discuss very short answer questions in this chapter this is our ray optics chapter basics introduction